Today we're going to be reading a really fun story that has a lot of truth to it and a lot of beauty. It's called The Curious Garden and it's written and illustrated by Peter Brown. Let's go ahead and dig in. Ooh, look at that picture. If you look closely, it looks like just kind of gray with maybe some rocks lying around. There once was a city without gardens or trees or greenery of any kind. Most people spent their time indoors. As you can imagine, it was a very dreary place. Look at this picture. Do you see what it looks like? It's a big city, but it's kind of grays and browns. Do you think you would like to live in a city like this? However, there was one boy who loved being outside, even on drizzly days. While everyone else stayed inside, you could always find Liam, here he is, happily splashing through his neighborhood. It was on one such morning that Liam made several surprising discoveries. He was wandering around the old railway as he did from time to time when he stumbled upon a dark stairwell leading up to the tracks. There it is. The railway had stopped working ages ago. And since Liam had always wanted to explore the tracks, there was only one thing for the curious boy to do. Liam ran up the stairs, pushed open the door, and stepped out onto the railway. The first thing he saw was a lonely patch of color. Do you see it? There it is. Wildflowers and plants were the last thing he had expected to find up here. But when he took a closer look, it became, became clear that the plants were dying. They needed a gardener. Liam may not have been a gardener, but he knew that he could help. So he returned to the railway the very next day and got to work. The flowers nearly drowned. He watered them so much. Well, and he had a few pruning problems. Look, he cut off that whole little branch. But the plants patiently waited while Liam found better ways of gardening. Sometimes when you're trying to learn something new, it's helpful to just try like Liam did, isn't it? As the weeks rolled by, Liam began to feel like a real gardener and the plants began to feel like a real garden. Most gardens stay in one place this was no ordinary garden. With miles of open railway ahead of it, the garden was growing restless. That's another word that kind of means wiggly. It wanted to move around. It wanted to explore. The tough little weeds and mosses were the first to move. They popped up farther and farther down the tracks and were closely followed by the more delicate plants. Over the next few months, Liam and the Curious Garden explored every corner of the railway. Oh my, wouldn't you love to be in a whole field of daisies right in the middle, just like that? It sure is beautiful, isn't it? Look at the garden spreading out here, all different colors this time. After spending his spring and summer and autumn with the garden, Liam's time on the railway was finally interrupted by winter. Heavy blankets of snow fell on the city that season. And for the first time since he had become a gardener, Liam could not visit the plants. Rather than waste his winter worrying about the garden, Liam spent it preparing for spring. After three cold months, the snow finally began to melt. 
and Liam rolled his new gardening gear over to the railway. Winter had taken a toll on the garden, but thanks to Liam's planning, his handy new tools, and a little help from the sun, the plants soon awoke from their winter sleep. The garden had always wanted to explore the rest of the city, and that spring, it was finally ready to make its move. Once again, the tough little weeds and mosses set out first. They popped up farther and farther from the railway and were closely followed by the more delicate plants and flowers. The garden was especially curious about old forgotten things. A few plants popped up where they didn't belong. Uh-oh. Others mysteriously popped up all at once. But the most surprising thing that popped up were the new gardeners. Look at all the people learning to garden. the beautiful places they made. Oh my goodness, wouldn't it be fun to hop from lily pad to lily pad? And look at, those are called topiaries when you cut a shrub into a shape. And look at this fun tree house they built. Wow, it sure is pretty, isn't it? Many years later, the entire city had blossomed. But of all the new gardens, Liam's favorite was where it all began. Look at Liam grew up, but he still kept his garden. Look how big that tree got. Wow. Oh my, look at that city. Do you think you'd like to live there? Let's look back at it at the beginning of the story and then we can compare. There it is at the beginning and there's the same city after all the gardeners took over. Which place do you think you would like to live in? I think I'd like to live in this one more, wouldn't you? Well, anyway, um, are, you, are you planning to have a garden this year? Maybe you're just helping out mom and dad. Or maybe you prefer to have your gardens inside instead of outside, like my plant right here. Either way, I hope you have fun and I'll see you soon.